everyone. This is Rob with Black Knight. I'm here with Ahad Raza. We see players all the time making mistakes, even at the top levels. And I personally make a lot of mistakes, and I immediately notice it and want to correct them. So what, what are some of the most common mistakes that you see that, that we can correct? Yeah, you know, believe it or not, a lot of people, even intermediate and advanced players, don't watch the ball consistently, which is surprising. And it's radically different between a beginner and advanced. A beginner will literally just stare at the front wall. And the challenge is obviously that everything then is reactionary. You only see the ball when it enters your peripheral vision and you have no idea of the angle, you have no idea of the pace, the height, like we're basically blind and reacting. Mm. An advanced player can sometimes also take their eyes off the ball, but what they do is that they track it, they track it, and then right before their opponent hits, they take their eyes off the ball. So again, there's still a lot of reactionary stuff happening. And truthfully, okay. like I find sometimes if I'm getting fatigued, I find myself also take my eye off the ball at the very last second. So it's something that all of us are prone to. Right. Now, yeah, yeah go ahead. Well, so that's one aspect is not taking the eye off the ball. And right. of course there's, it can't just be as simple as watching the ball, can it? it truthfully, it can be. Yeah, <laughs> okay. it's as simple as watching the ball. Yeah. Now, the other thing is, one of the reasons people don't watch the ball is because they don't know how to position themselves on the tee. So if you, a lot of people stand totally straight okay. and it's hard to then actually turn around and watch the ball. So you have to stagger yourself a little bit on the tee so that it's easier for you to turn your neck and right. constantly track the ball. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The, uh, another really, really common mistake that I see people making is that they, and these are kind of interlinked, they don't rotate their bodies enough and they don't give themselves enough space mm. from the ball. Okay. And this is especially true in the back corners. And that's one of the reasons why people are unable to hit the ball straight down the line yeah. consistently. I could see that. I, I see a lot of players adjusting their swing because they don't have the right spacing between themselves and the ball. Right. So then... So this is, this, is, this is a common thing because right. you're, too, you're too close and you haven't rotated enough to begin with. Right. So you end up kind of having to get this little chicken wing squeeze sort of thing happening. Yeah. And we can, we can figure out, I can show you some examples of how to make corrections. Okay, let's yeah. do that. Awesome. Sweet. We're going to do a quick demonstration of what spacing, rotation, and not watching the ball looks like. You can watch me for the errors. Rob is our pro. <laughs> let's hit the drives. So, well, you see how I wasn't able to get that ball because when I was at the tee, I was standing like this and then I became late on the first shot that Rob hit, which had a domino effect and made me even later on the second shot that he hit. And it was a very tight shot. So that's what, watching only the front wall and not watching the ball, that's that domino effect that occurs right. when you're doing that. And when you're, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you're on the tee, yeah. you're, turning your head, you're not turning, you're keeping your feet forward and you're just turning your head to keep your eye on the ball the whole there's, time. There's, off, there's a slight stagger with your feet, so you don't want to be totally square. You want to have a minor stagger because it becomes easier to push laterally and backwards. But after that, yes, then it's the neck that's turning. Obviously, it's not just neck. You have to have a little bit of a, a rotation in your torso and then the neck as well. So let's do that again. And this time, you can look at me for what not to do when it comes to rotation and spacing, okay? okay? So as you can see, I had no rotation on the ball. And as a result, all I could do was sort of flick my racket to try to get under it. I had no room or space or ability to generate power from behind. So if that looks familiar to you and you find yourself in this sort of a position a lot, really close to the back glass, you know that you need to take a step back, rotate, get under the ball to lift it out. Good luck. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to check out any more of our content, head to our YouTube channel. And if you want to check out any more Black Knight gear, including rackets, accessories, and apparel, Go to playbk.com and you'll find it there. Thanks again.